Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense, consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. Apparently, he worked tremendously hard on cardio for this camp. Well, Joe Rogan, this is as accomplished a kickboxer as has made the walk to the UFC octagon as we've seen in the last several years. I'm excited to see his kickboxing skills on display in this particular matchup. Really a nice arsenal of kicks. He'll attack that lead leg beautifully, not to mention the solid punching technique that he brings to the table. This man is a danger for anyone in his striking range. When that octagon door closes, we're expecting fireworks tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. Or tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's a fight. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, three losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Rostov Tiger Avila! And now for the his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Mechakara Russia assassin! You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go fight. down right, right now. And we are underway. Probably out very quick with his hands and with his feet. Look at that nasty jab. All right, first round is underway, and no surprise that his opponent's guard is high. He has done his homework. He has watched film. You know about these powerful overhand punches, a big part of his game plan every time out. We'll see if he can get it going here early in this round. And the fighters engage in the clinch here right out of the shoot. Pummeling under. Now he's got over on. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Tying up in the clinch here. Trips the leg and he's got him down. He's looking to take the back. Inside control. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. 
Trying to pass there, but he gets stopped. Reversal right into side control. Nice punch. Oh, and reverse. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Controlling him from behind. Under two minutes now to go round one. Full mount. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. Beautifully executed sweep. He's going to try to take the back. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Havilov. He lands a big shot from the bottom. He's trying to pass here. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. Beautiful sweep. Nicely executed sweep winds up in guard. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Now he's moved back into full guard. Oh, that's a good right hand. Tries to get out of full guard and into half, but doesn't make it. That horn sounds me reach the end of round one. Stop, stop, stop. All right, hey, calm down first. Here we go. Here's your water. Calm down. Relax. Big breaths, my friend. Big breaths. Beautiful. And here's a nice shot. Lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Big round. The beautiful Brittany Palmer with us. All right, round two. Caught him with a punch. Good defense there. And he eats a right hand there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Total strikes. Nice punch there by Kabbalah. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Goes to the body there. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Constantly a moving target. <laughs> Missed that shot. Look at that, right to the temple. Defensively, as he blocks the shot. Yet again, he avoids the clinch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, that punch right now landed flush. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Punch is blocked. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attempt. Big punch from the bottom. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Lands a good shot from the bottom. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. 
slides him over, and nice reversal here. Under a minute now to go round two. 45 seconds remain in the round. Back and forth we go. Oh, he got cracked. 30 seconds now to go in the round. And that one certainly found the target. Stuff to take down, no problem. Hook in the clinch there is good by Havala. Oh. Over yes, under hooks here. And the horn sounds on round two. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. Very exciting round. Hey, take a look at this cut. It's not even good for you to keep taking these hits. The OG Ariane Celeste in the building with us tonight. Third round underway. All right, fighters ready to go. This next round is underway. Last round, pretty tough act to follow. Good round, not the greatest round you'll ever see, but both fighters really had their moments. Tough fight to score. And again, we set off the top, Joe. Good matchmaking in this fight, in this division, and that's exactly how it's played out tonight. Kabalov's pummeling works in that underhook. Good body shot. Nice shot to the body there. He pummels, now he's got double underhooks. Over underhooks here. Copy lost. lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Taken down here by Havala. Tries to pass, but doesn't make it. Very nice sweep. He's got side control. He's looking to pass. Excellent movement here on the ground. And he winds up on top. He's moved back into side control. Two minutes remain in the round. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's gonna try to take the back, I think. Side control again. Kabilov gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Double underhooks in the clinch. Kabilov is able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do. Yeah, and he's got double underhooks here. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Kabalov's got double underhooks. Very nice sprawl. Oh, veteran stuff there. He pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. Trying to get an advantage here in the clinch. Got one overhook and one underhook here. Double underhooks. Uh, That's three rounds in uh, the can. Uh, We're headed to the championship round. Here's a perfect kick to the body. Let's see this again. And there's a vicious punch to the body. Incredible highlights in that round. Listen. 
Thank you very much, Ariane. Celeste is here. trying to better his position. He's working from full mount again. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. He's got his back. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Final seconds. Take the back here. Oh, Buzzer oh, sets oh. for the end of round four. 20 minutes in the books. Here's a vicious kick that results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Hey, come on in, come on in. Great finish to that round. Give him some water, give him some water, listen. Ariane Celeste doing work as usual. You're in fight, ready. It is the fifth and final round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That one hurt. Oh, good left hand. Kobe Love going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there, Joe. Good uppercut attempt. He looks burdened down. He's trying to connect. 
trademark inside leg kick there by Kabbalah. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Looking to land the right just out of range. Oh! Man has his chin been tested early. Outstanding! Unbelievable! And that is a great sign of an intelligent fighter. Composure. Knew he hurt him, and he's taking his time. Yeah, Joe, that was some throwback style ground and pound. He was trying to pound his opponent's head through the damn canvas. He wasn't looking to score there. He was looking to land big shots and get his opponent out of there. Well, mission accomplished on that front. This is one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold.